John, welcome to Shrewsbury Town. What are your first thoughts on joining the club? Excitement. Um, very much looking forward to it. Um, uh, it's a you know, perfect fit for me and hopefully I, I can uh, repay the faith that's been showed in me by, by the chairman. This does seem a, an exciting challenge for, for any manager, but particularly for yourself. It is. Um, you know, obviously it's well documented that I've been at Maxfield for my whole career. So, so to move away uh, and to come here uh, is it's a big challenge for me. And, uh, and I hope that I can do, do the job justice and, uh, and produce the goods. Uh, it's about winning. I, I understand that. Um, over the last few years, I've been used to winning. As a player, I was used to winning. Uh, and that's what I want, want to reproduce here. And you take on a club that's had a, a very good season in League One. Yeah, they've done excellent. And I'm sure there's a massive feel-good factor around the club. And hopefully we can keep that going. You have been with Macclesfield for a long time. 1984, you joined Macclesfield. How big a wrench was it to, to leave there? It's, it's huge, but I felt as though I'd done the job. And the job was completed. I got them back into the league. And, uh, and when this opportunity arose, then uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't turn it down. And that was a, a massive achievement to win the National League last season with a side that, realistically, the budget wasn't there to do that. No, we had the lowest budget and we should have, uh, you know, been relegation. Well, we were relegation favourites and really we should have probably gone down. Um, but we had a good squad, um, a togetherness like you've, you've got here between the players and that can take you a long way. And uh, it just snowballed and uh, it's, it was a great season. Do you see parallels then in, in that respect between the two? Yeah, there's a lot of players who are at Shrewsbury who uh, have come from the lower leagues and um, they're looking to you know, show what they can do and that's what they did last season and uh, you know, they need to keep that going again um, and it's against the odds isn't it? Shrewsbury last season against all odds, you know, we would have expected them to be where they were. Um, so, uh, it, like you say, very similar. The squad that's in place. How impressed are you by what the, what this squad holds? Yeah, there's a there's a lot of quality, um, not only ability wise, but attitude, and uh, and that's why I like I like players who've got good attitudes who want to work hard and train hard, and uh, you know, Shrewsbury are one of the fittest teams, if not the fittest team in the league, and and that's why they got the results. So I'm I'm looking forward to working with the players. How important will it be to hold on to one or two key members of this squad? You always want to keep your best players, uh, and it's important that that we do. And hopefully that'll be the case. And you know, they'll see it as you know, if they've done well at the club and there's a good feeling, and they're getting well liked by the supporters, then they, I can't imagine that they'll want to leave. And uh, they'll feel as though they've not quite finished the job off. And uh, I'm sure they'll be wanting to to get into the championship next season. But I guess you want to put your own stamp on things as well. Yeah, everybody's different. I think there's uh, a lot of similarities in in the managers that you've had previous, uh, with obviously Mickey Mallon and, and Paul, and I'm pre pretty similar. But uh, as I say, everybody's different. Everybody goes th about things differently. But the main thing is is to to win games. In terms of the transfer market, are there specific players, specific positions you'll be particularly looking at? Yeah, there's, there's obviously uh, players who've left, and you know areas where, where we'll need to strengthen and uh, you know we'll be working working around the clock to, to try and do that. But I guess you've got a, a good nucleus there to start with at least. Yeah there's a good base and um, that's you know to come into it usually when you go into a football club it's usually because the manager's been sacked and the, club, and the team's not done very well so to come to a team who've performed last season is, is a nice position to be in and uh, you know obviously looking to build on it. What realistically then do you think this club can achieve? Well, they showed last season that you know, uh, so close, so so it is achievable. Uh, you know, to to first of, the first and most important thing as a football club, you get safe, you get your fifty points, and then you you push on from there. The sooner you can get safe, players become relaxed, supporters become relaxed. And then, and then you uh, 
you you see where you are and then you you're looking for you know to get you want to get promoted you want to win things uh players do managers do and supporters do um so that's that's the aim and uh hopefully uh, we can do that and you're confident that the last season wasn't just a, a one off well i'm hoping you know last season's gone and that's football um you know it's it's like when you when you win a game it, the following Saturday, that's that has to be forgotten, and you you have to go on to the next, the next game. Um, so last season was great, and um, uh, supporters, players have to enjoy that. Um, well, first game of the season, it all starts again, and uh, you've got to work hard to to reproduce what they did last season. And what would be your your message to fans? What do you do you want from them? In, a bit of patience. Um, an encouragement, I think the main thing is always to get behind the players and encourage the players. Um, and if, if you do that, it gives them the best opportunity um, and uh, players can relax and, and play. Because if somebody's telling you are doing well, it usually brings the best out of people. Um, so I hope they enjoy the football that we play next season. And, uh, and uh, that's the message. Just quickly to touch on the, the style of football, you've been known at Macclesfield for playing a, a very good style of, of football. I guess you want to sort of reproduce that here. Yeah, um, I believe in in, in playing. Um, you know, there's there's various ways of playing football, um, but the main thing is is winning. Um, you know, and it depends what players you've got, uh, how you play, um, but. As I say, I think people forgive any way that you play as long as you win. It's no use playing like Barcelona if you're losing every week. So uh, we'll just have to look at it and see what the best way is to get results. Good luck with it. Cheers, thank you.